Hey, it's a new video, so I'm going to start out by buying a whole new shirt. Um, maybe I should have... Let's do Agumon t-shirt. Since we have an Agumon for a very short amount of time. And then I'll go back... There we go. There's the Agumon t-shirt. Rookies just digivolve so fast. So, I don't remember anything about... I think I'm supposed to go to the cafe to fix the air conditioning. It lists the K-Cafe and the Metal Man. The other things aren't totally relevant. Alright, I'll uh, pause. So there it is. There's the uh, air conditioner that's blowing way too cold. Whoa, it's freezing in here! Did the AC break or something? Dreary girl. Huh? Her voice cut out. I wonder what's up. Me again. I've got a new case for you. Why don't you drop by so we can talk? Oh, it stopped. We're fine. The air conditioner fixed itself. Oh, you didn't want to talk to me about it. You just wanted to put it on the thing. There's something wrong with the air conditioning in Broadway. Find the cause. From what I gather, the air conditioning inside Nakano Broadway is on the fritz. It just keeps pumping in cold air constantly, and no one can switch the heating on. The thing is, nobody can find anything wrong with it, and the businesses are lost about what to do. That's where we come in. People aren't getting much work done, so I told them to leave it up to us. If we can get to the bottom of this mess, I'm sure they'll just love us forever for it. Huh? You keep getting transmissions from someone? Hmm, well isn't she a cutie? The white noise is in this is really bad. I can't make out what she's saying. Where's this coming? It cut up. You're saying it's on the trans same transmission came in where it was cold? Hmm, we might be closing in on the cause. If so, our next step is to resolve this thing. Plain and simple. I'm going to see if I can fi figure out the signal's origin. You ask around about the air conditioning. No, I don't want to ask around. Okay, I talked to everyone who had the the red flag on them. There we go. You want to know how the air conditioner broke? Beats me, I have no idea. It's odd. We don't have a central unit anymore, so how could everyone's air conditioner go out? Huh? You don't know about the central unit? Back when this place first opened, there was a big underground unit that controlled the air conditioner for the whole building. Sure feels like, uh, the old central unit going out. The way it worked up... <laughs> 
The way it worked was that every store circulated that cool air up to their store with fans. Why was there a central unit underground at all? Well, that was to refrigerate a certain something. Uh, you, what do you think it was? It was Japan's oldest vacuum tube computer. Can you believe it? The room that computer was housed in was right here in Nakano. Sad to say, I have no idea what happened to it. There's nothing left of it anymore. And even if there were, there are no records left. Nobody remembers where it was either. The room itself might as well be an ur urban legend. I can tell you one thing, it's really cold! Although it's done wonders for coffee sales today. I figured out where that signal came from. So get back to the office when you can, alright? Nice work with your investigation. Now, what have you got to report? Hmm, this is the first I've heard of that computer room. But with that info, it's all starting to click for me now. Like I mentioned before, I've figured out who the girl in those transmissions is. Her name is Fuyume Yuki. She was a breakout idol from a few decades back. Yuki means snow. I know that because of, of uh, Fruits Basket. What we've been saying, the avatar on the screen, is her when she was in her prime as an idol. Someone is interfering using a terminal inside Nakano Broadway and broadcasting her likeness. And the signal seems to be coming from the fourth floor. Looking at the map, it's right inside a wall at K Cafe. The whole thing has played out like a horror story, hasn't it? A long-lost idol relaying her message from inside a wall? But with your report, it's all coming together now. We've uncovered a piece of Nakano Broadway history that not even the owner of K Cafe, as the go-to historian, could claim to know. But enough talk. It's time to head to the K Cafe. I'll be coming along for this one, too. I got a message from a girl, and when I answered it, it got all cold all of a sudden. It's the snow woman. She's cursed us. It has to be her. I can hardly believe it, but it definitely has been chilly in here. I got a bad feeling about this. Maybe I'll just go home. Heh. <laughs> the snow woman. The modus operandi sure does fit with that folktale, though. Even the idol's name, Fuyume Yuki, means Winter Snow Woman. Fuyume means Snow Woman. Snow Woman herself shows up in a lot of stories from regions with cold climates. Definitely the first time she's taken form as an old 80s idol. It's pretty fitting for Nakano Broadway, all things considered. <laughs> Still, if we don't act quickly, she's going to damage this place's reputation. So let's get a move on already. This is it. The transmission should be coming from the other side, from here. Yeah, there's no door and there's no signs of the walls being tampered with. What's going on here? Another transmission. That just about confirms we're in the right spot, then. I don't like the looks of this. It's like she noticed us trying to meddle with her, and now it's even colder. You're probably less affected by her tricks thanks to your unique body. Oh, did you find something? I see. So there's an entry point into cyberspace inside that wall. Don't worry about me. You go on ahead and get in there. No, not function call. Oh. Function call increases encounters. Oh, that's not what I want, and I can't undo that. Oh, when did I be able to... When was I able to... Crack level 2 firewalls? 
Is it Puyumon? Bodamon. Botamon. That's a. Can I turn it off or no? Great. Yes, I can. One has treasure. One does not. Did I get the treasure one? Uh, okay. Not. We can't say for sure. Whatever. The treasure doesn't make too much of a difference anyway. Real treasure is the friendships we made along the way, which are so far none. Diamond Storm. Yeah, that's worth a hundred fifty in resale value, and pretty much nothing in uh, in-game value. So in like Kingdom Hearts, the treasures are super important because you can't get the best weapons unless you synthesize everything. But in here, yeah, there's... You came. Thank you. There's not really anything. A Wanyamon? Not an Ice Digimon at all? Oh. Colder. It's not cold enough. Not until everyone is frozen. Why did it heal itself? Oh, that was supposed to be a boss battle. Burr, it was so cold. Thanks for taking care of him. That was one nasty glitch. You saved the day, really. You must have come over when you heard my voice, right? You didn't? You're a cyber sleuth working a case? I don't really get it. But whatever. All's well that ends well. Frigimon's rampaging really did cause so much trouble. Huh? Who am I? Uh, well, to be honest, I don't really know myself. I've been stuck asleep inside this wall the whole time, you see. Hey, it's finally stopped blowing cold air out here. Great job. You did so much. You must be tired. Would have been a real sad state of affairs if we'd somehow managed to freeze to death here in Tokyo of all places. Hmm? You found a cat Digimon with amnesia? Well, you solve one mystery only to stumble into another, it seems. Come back here and we'll look into it. An amnesiac Digimon, huh? Every time I, I think I've seen everything, I get proven wrong yet again. I take it those transmissions with Fuyumi Yuki were your doing them? Yep, I wasn't able to move around once Frigimon started going crazy, so I had to call for help somehow and I sent out those messages. Well, I did come from a vacuum tube computer inside a wall. Then that means the vacuum tube computer was really there behind the wall this whole time. I had been asleep inside that computer for a really long time. I only woke up just recently. And when I did, I had no idea who I was or what I was doing inside that wall. So I decided to go and see what I could learn. That was when I stumbled upon an intranet connecting the vacuum tube computer to the rest of the building. Intranet? You must mean networking lines that only operate inside Nakano Broadway. Yeah, so as I was just playing around, that was when Frigimon suddenly appeared! He was originally a Digimon that was created as a result of, of a glitch in the air conditioning system, but he managed to use the intranet to sneak into the vacuum tube computer I was living in. 
I see. It all makes sense now. That must have been why nobody could find anything wrong with the system when they checked it. Fridge of mine just went completely insane and wouldn't listen to me. Eventually, I couldn't even move with all that constant cold. It was terrible. How awful. I had no idea. It's hard to believe such an old computer was even still operational to begin with, too. But its existence is probably a remnant of the centralized air conditioner system that a K-Cafe K -cafe owner mentioned before. The wiring must have been hooked up pretty poorly for Frigimon to be able to wreak such havoc, then. And therein lies the root of how all this happened. I imagine even our conversation right now must be going through that intranet as well. By the way, is there a reason why you chose to appear as an idol in those transmissions? Why? She was just cute, I guess. Um, simple. I just thought someone cute like her would make someone want to come in and help me. I picked Fuyume Yuki specifically because, well, she was amazing when she was really popular. She could sing, she could dance, and her looks. Fuyume had everything you could want in an idol. Oh yeah, it was also the world's fair around the time when her career was really starting to take off. It was such a long line for the moon rocks. Wait, why do I remember that? I don't even remember my own name. I think I get what's going on. It looks like we've uncovered a decades-old time capsule. Time capsule? What's that? Your memories aren't just raw bits of information. They're more than that. They have a certain humanity to them, let's say. I bet you're someone's old memories, stashed away along with that vacuum tube computer you've been living in. That's what time capsules are for. That's what I am? But... Memories or not, that doesn't make you any less empathetic a creature to encounter. Either way, this case is wrapped up now. We'll look into what's up with this cat Digimon earlier. Truly, there's no other place quite like Nakano. Investigation of Time Capsule Snow Woman complete. Still, you have a real knack for getting us involved in a lot of stuff, so thanks for always keeping it interesting around here. Chapter 3. Digital Monster You called for me, Nokia? What is it? I'm sorry for calling you all of a sudden. I hope it wasn't too much of a pain. Uh, there's actually something I want you to hear. It's actually... I just... So then, the client is a friend of yours? We don't get to pick our clients, you know. We have to go with whoever can pay. No, it's just that I had something to ask of Rasha, but... That's not how this works. Nokia Shiramine, your friend here is a pro sleuth earning a paying wage for their work. The only way to ask something of a professional is to pay a professional rate for a case. Also, he's my assistant. A case for my assistant is a case for me. Do I make myself clear? Whoa, perfectly clear! I didn't think it would be such a good d big deal! Well then, what kind of case is it? Oh, actually, I want him to look for some Digimon. Oh? You remember, right? The Digimon that helped me in Kowloon? Agumon and Gabumon. That's all I want you to do. No matter what else happens, no matter what. I'm really worried about them. But it's too dangerous for me to go searching around Kowloon all by myself, and I'm scared. So please, help me. It's a request. I mean, a case for you. Her attachment to Digimon is interesting. <laughs> well, she asked for you specifically. I'm inclined to leave it to you, what do you say? Really? You'll help me? Yes! Hmm. If you've taken on this job, be sure to see it through to the end. It reflects on the agency's reputation. She'll probably be good advertising for us. Okay, okay, for starters, I want to go back where we logged out before. There's a lot I need to prepare, too. So let's meet in Kowloon, okay? Okay, I'll see you later then, but don't be late this time, alright? 
From missing persons to missing Digimon. Perfect cases for a cyber sleuth, no? Hm, excellent. Get started with your investigation. Hm, what's that? I seem happier than usual? If it's that obvious, I won't deny it. But to be honest, I'm a little perplexed by this offbeat case. Hunting for Digimon. People are totally careless when it comes to their affections, be they real or digital. Doesn't make any difference. This is going to be very interesting. Quiz time, where's the first place you connect jumped to? Jinjuku. So, what are your friends like? They're cool. There's Ryota and Sakura at school, and Nakoto, uh, Nokia, and Arara I meant online. Dang, the answer's Shikakomon. Shakuman. You'll get the next one. And Mirai tells me when I... What was that awful creature that attacked you in Kowloon? I want to know. Then is Arata a hacker after all? Right. Let's meet at Galacta Park. Don't keep me waiting like last time, okay? You free now? Jimmykin's giving away some exclusive merchandise. Let's get on it. Hmm, what do I have to register for? Yo, you're pretty free these days, right? Let's go hang out somewhere. Hey, Ryota, how's your homework coming? I know you plan to come over this weekend, but stay home and rest, okay? Got it. Sorry for worrying you. Jimmykin's new song brings me to tears. Give it a listen. You'll love it. If you recommend it that much, I'll give it a try. Oh, I am getting too sleepy. It's 4.54 a.m. and I'm not even the only one up. I have two people here who are also on it.